Hey, look! It's an upgrade block. Upgrade blocks can now be modded into the game. I'm going to teach you how they work and how to build your own. By the end of this episode, you should be able to follow along well enough to create your own upgrade block if you've created a mod before. If you haven't created a block mod before, this is too advanced. Please go see the first half of this tutorial, the first eight episodes, where I teach you how to create blocks. For now, let's talk about this block in particular. This is actually a mod that includes two new blocks. It includes the small ship, small engine. It has been modified to have a small yellow square. And it includes this beastie here, which adds 300% to both the thrust and the cost of any engine attached to it by a small yellow square. This is pretty well balanced for, what it, for exactly what it is, but there are some serious problems with this implementation, which we'll get to in a minute. First, I wanted to make it clear how this is done. This small yellow square is just a texturing difference. The actual block definition, uh, when you go and look at the, um, uh, the model, it has a new empty. And as I've talked about before, empties are what are used to create connections between blocks. And this new empty it can connect to any other empty of that type on the opposite end. So this small yellow square can connect to any other small yellow square. Now obviously this is a thruster module. This thruster upgrade module will not upgrade you know, a grinder or a reactor, but it will upgrade any thruster that has a small yellow square attached to it. So it upgrades these small thrusters and it makes these small thrusters the equivalent of four because it adds 300% to the thrust of these small thrusters. That's pretty nice savings. You no longer have to stack your engines up in obnoxious ways, but Let's go ahead and say that we have a large engine. And let's say that we've modified our large engine so that it has small yellow squares here and here and on the other side. So four small yellow squares. And now what happens? If we attach all of these modules... Okay, now this large engine is the equivalent of 13 large engines. It's unlikely that that is the amount of boost you want you probably don't want to allow your, uh, your modules to multiply values that much. Here's the issue. You can't really control that unless you want to do some programming. Anyone who adds an engine with a small yellow square on it will be able to attach to anything that modifies engines that have a small yellow square attached to them. So this block here can modify, say, the Titan engine. The massive, massive engine. You attach one of these little guys, it counts as four massive, massive engines. So you've got to be real careful with that. You've got to be careful to balance it at the very least. And in this case, the balance is uh, iffy. Uh, the 300% price increase is not enough. It should be maybe a 400%, 450% price increase. But either way, you have to be aware of that. You have to be aware that your blocks that you are putting in are not going to be the only blocks with small yellow squares on them. And that means that anyone who puts in any block with a small yellow square, it can now be combined with yours. And you have to be careful of that and understand what that means. This is made a lot worse because there is no option to just add a certain amount of power. These, these modifiers, these, uh, these up upgrade blocks, they do not add 14 kilonewtons. They add 300%. They add percents. So let's look at how it's actually done. This is the cube blocks for the mod. And it contains two blocks. It contains the new thruster, which is exactly the same as the old thruster, but it has a small yellow cube. And it contains the, uh, the modifier, the upgrade block itself. The upgrade block is listed here. You can see that it has the type of My Object Builder Upgrade Module definition. Interesting. And the type idea of Upgrade Module. Interesting. So we're going to talk more about that in a minute. But if we look down here, we can see that it's basically the same as any other block. There's nothing special about it. And you can create this kind of block using any tool you'd like, like the Blender tools that I've been using. But what we can't say for sure is uh, this part here is new. Upgrades. My upgrade module info. Upgrade type thrust. Modifier 1.0. Modifier type additive. What does that mean? Well, the additive... I'm not entirely sure what that means because it doesn't appear that there would ever be a multiplicative upgrade type. We'll get to that in a minute. But uh, this upgrade type, thrust, links it to a specific kind of upgrade we'll be talking about in a second here. Because this is not enough. This is not enough to actually get the mod to work. 
you need some C-sharp code. And so let's look at that C-sharp code. <coughs> this C-sharp code is very short, and it's 99% boilerplate. If you wanted to create your own version of a thruster, uh, of a thruster upgrade module, you could just copy and paste this. But if you're trying to go for a reactor or something, you'd have to change some of these values. You'd have to probably look up the names that you need from the documentation, but basically you go through and change all the things that say thruster into the things that say reactor. That's pretty straightforward, right? Well, most of this is boilerplate, but the things that we want to care about first are down here in the on upgrade values changed. You can see that we are adding three. As I said, we don't add kilonewtons, we add percentages. And this is a serious downside that they should reconsider, because adding percentages is abusable, as I've mentioned. Now, you can make this a lot more complex. For example, you can look at the block in question, check its name, see whether or not it is a specific subclass of block. There's a lot of things you can do here to try and limit what blocks can be plugged in. But as it's written here, there is no limit on what blocks can be plugged in, and this upgrade can be applied to any engine with a small yellow square. You can change these values, you can make them negative, whatever. Uh, but one of the things that you have to notice is that this is actually not just adding 3. It's saying that the thrust multiplier equals m parent upgrade values plus 3. This is a little bit complex because upgrade values is not simply a dictionary. It, you're not looking up the thrust. This is something which has a, its, its addition and subtraction overridden and it does some weird stuff. So what this means is that uh, in the end, it might actually be a standard dictionary, and the, the magic might be somewhere else. But in the end, what this means is that when you call on upgrade values changed, you get to add 300%, and when the, you remove that block, you reduce that, you remove that, and it all happens automatically. You don't have to try and figure out whether you're upgrading or downgrading or any of that stuff. This magic syntax here will handle the upgrading and downgrading for you and you can just change these values. So you could do something like this. Whatever you need to do. Try and keep it balanced though because as I mentioned before it can be attached to any block of any size. That said, the other thing we need to take note of is that these values here are called thrust and that's actually noted here. That's one of the things that connects it to the, uh, to the other this cube blocks definition because we are talking about the upgrade type of thrust. See? So you're actually defining this. This is not something that's built into the game world. In addition, this here, this is not something which um, lets you define upgrade blocks. This is an upgrade block. So if you're trying to define three or four different upgrade blocks, you're gonna have a hard time assuming that they do vaguely different things because this class here just tells the system exactly what to do when your upgrade, upgrade block is applied. Now it's possible to write much, much more advanced versions of this that search for XML values and do complex math, um, but I'm not sure how long it'll be before people do that. If we look back at the cube blocks, there is a modifier here, so I think that you can create multiples. I think you can make smaller and larger versions using the same class, and that, that's what I'll be doing when I build my reactor. Uh, but my reactor systems are going to be a little bit more difficult. Why is that? Well, let's go over to the documentation. Here is the iMyReactor interface. Now, you may have noticed that over here in the upgrade logic, we use thrust multiplier and, M and the power consumption multiplier. These are applied to the thruster. The thruster has these new values, thrust multiplier, power consumption multiplier, and those just get applied whenever the thruster is fired. But if we look at the documentation, those are actually in the documentation now, down here at the bottom. And the reactor only has one. The reactor only has a power output multiplier. It doesn't have an efficiency multiplier or anything like that. So, you can balance an engine by adding to its price as well as adding to its thrust. With the reactors, you're just upgrading them. Flat out. And that's not so good, because that means if I create a little block intended to upgrade small reactors, you can apply it to a big reactor and you'll get so much out of it that it's hilarious. So what you're going to have to do if you want to have a balanced version of this, you're going to have to make sure that this is not applied to systems that have uh, you know, over a certain power cap or something like that. And I'll be working on that. You'll see that happen in one of the later videos when I actually implement this. Uh, for now, it's just an idea. We've got to make sure that these things don't apply the same way 
to things of different tiers because you'd just be multiplying. And if you have like an arc reactor that outputs a gigawatt of power, um, applying a one by one upgrade block to that and getting another three gigawatts of power is just not a great idea. If we look at the IMI thrust, as of this moment in writing, they've actually broken their documentation. Uh, you can see that there are now two. One of them is old, one of them is new. Power consumption and thrust multiplier. So those are the only things you can modify here in IMI thrust. They talked about a couple of other things. So you can modify IMI um, drill, what is it called? No, it's not a drill, it's a grinder. Um, you know, I don't remember what they're called. Uh, I know that you can modify a gyro, so let's look at the gyros. Gyro power. That's interesting. This is not a multiplier. It's not listed as a multiplier at any rate. Hmm. No, this isn't the right one. I've chosen the wrong IMI gyro interface, haven't I? There we are. Gyro strength multiplier, power consumption multiplier. So the gyro is just like the uh, the engine. You can balance it by increasing the amount of power. If you do decide to do this, I strongly recommend that you increase the power requirements faster than you increase the strength, because otherwise it is too cheap once you start to get to the large blocks. That's really all you have to know. This documentation will help you to find out exactly what you can change, and uh, the upgrade logic and the cube blocks will tell you exactly how to build the stuff. You just have to know what the empties are supposed to be called, and that's in the documentation. Um, the only other thing to note is that you may have to create a lot of emissive textures, a lot of emissive materials uh, in very specific orientations and shit, but that's, you know, you can deal with that stuff. If you've ever made a battery, it's exactly the same thing. So, that's how these work. They are fraught with a serious problem. These should not be multipliers, or at the very least, they should not be universally multiplied. Uh, because of that, I strongly recommend that if you are making a large object, like a large thruster, do not cover it in upgrades. Um, you know, that, that, that new module, uh, sorry, the new version of the, um, not the assembler, the refinery. The new version of the refinery has all of these sticks has all of these nodes on the back, I recommend strongly against doing this, because it means that the larger your block gets, the more cheap modifiers can be made to make it absurdly overpowered. Uh, and we're going to be seeing that with reactors for sure, and engines for sure, so keep that in mind when you build yours. Thanks for your time.